wonderful. So without any further ado, put your hands together for Peter Pan Jr. Mother, mother, 
What's the matter, George, dear? Matt, this is hot. It will not No, Not around my neck. From the vicar's. Oh, yes. From my neck. Dear, no. I won't take a bath, Matt. I won't take a bath. Go get me at once, sir. Oh, mother. Look here. Here are my trousers. Clumsy, clumsy. I'll brush you off, father, dear. Thank you. You know, my mother, sometimes I don't get instinct into the door. George, we must keep Nana. I'll tell you why, my dear. When I came into this room tonight, I saw a face at the window. A face at the window? Two tall saucers? It was the face of a little boy. He was trying to get in. But wait, the boy was not quite alone. He was accompanied by, I don't know how to describe it, by a ball of light that dad about the room like a living thing. That is very unusual. George, what can this all mean? No, really, I saw something. I saw something, I promise. I really, really did. Oh, the clumsy, the clumsy, the just look at my trousers. Come on, Pam, again. I refuse to allow that dog in my nursery for one hour longer. Oh, hey, Father, please, Father. Am I the master in this house, or is she? <laughs> Come on, Nana. Come on, Nana. Good. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
What's your name? Wendy, Moira, Angela, darling. What is your name? Peter Pan. Where do you live? Sit to the right and straight on to morning. What a funny address. No, it isn't. I mean, is that what they put in your letters? Don't get any letters. But your mother gets letters. Don't have a mother. I can't get my shadow to stick on. It has come off. How awful. Why well, must be sewn on? I shall sew it for you. Thank you. I dare say, it may hurt a little. I need a cry. Oh, the cleverness of me. Oh, P.G., you were so clever. Shall I give you a kiss? Thank you. Don't you know what a kiss is? I shall know when you give it to me. Now shall I give you a kiss? If you please. An acorn. Why, Peter, I should wear it in this chain on my neck. Peter, how old are you? I don't know. I ran away from home the day I was born. Ran away? Why? Because I heard father and mother talking of what I was to be when I became a man. I was always to be a little boy and to have fun. So, I ran away. And I've lived a long time among the fairies. Peter, you really know fairies? Yes, but they're nearly all dead now. Why? You see, Wendy, when the first baby laughed for the first time, the law broke into a thousand pieces, and they all went skipping about. And that was the beginning of fairies. And now, when every new baby is born, its first laugh becomes a fairy. So, there ought to be a fairy for every boy or girl. Ought to be, isn't that? Oh no, children know such a lot now. Soon they don't believe, and every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies. There is a fairy somewhere that falls down deep. Poor things. I can't think where she's gone to. Take it out. Take? Peter, you don't need to tell me that there's a real life fairy right here in this room. She came with me. Wendy, I believe I shut her up in that drawer. <laughs> that take? How could I know you were stuck in that drawer? What does she say? She's not very polite. Tank, you know you can't be my fairy. For I'm a gentleman and you're a lady. It's alright. She's chained up. Peter, where do you live? Neverland. What does it look like? It's an island with hardly any space between one adventure and another. Oh, it sounds lovely. Neverland. Who else lives there, Peter? The lost kids. Who are they? They are children who fall out of their crams when the nurse is looking the other way. If they are claimed in seven days, they are sent far away to Neverland. I am Captain. What fun it must be. Yes, but we're rather lonely and none of us know any stories. How perfectly awful. Oh, Wendy, your mother was telling you, you such a lovely story about a prince who could find the lady who wore the glass slipper? Oh, that's Cinderella. Peter, he found her, and they lived happily ever after. I'm glad. Where are you going? To tell the lost kids. Don't go, Peter. I know lots of stories. Do you? Oh, Peter, the stories I can tell the lost kids. Come on, we'll fly. Fly? You can fly? Wendy, come with me. How we should all respect you. Will you teach John and Michael to fly too? If you like. John! Michael! Wake up! There's a boy here who's going to teach us to fly! There is? Then I'll get him at once! Fly! 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 Oh, for light! Someone's coming! Fly! I'll teach you how do you do it.
who just sing lovely, wonderful thoughts. And up you go. Oh, how sweet. I'm flying. 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 Look at me way up high. Suddenly, here am I flying. I'm flying. 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 I can soar. I can weave. And what's more, I'm not even trying. High up and as light as I can be. Watch on how. Oh, teacher, student, please teach us. First, we must go the very next time. Now think lovely thoughts. Think lovely thoughts. Fishing. Hopscotch. Candy. Picnics. Summer. Candy. Flowers. Candy. Candy. Lovely thoughts, my oak. That's it! Off to Neverland! Neverland? Wouldn't be lovely! There are pirates and brave kids! Pirates? Pirates? Let's go at once! Get ready! You ready? Ready! 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 Don't forget, don't be slow! Ready, set, here we go! Ready, Michael John! Take them out! Come on! Hurry up and follow me for I will soon be gone, I fly! 
keeping him so long? Maybe, Maybe he's waiting, waiting to hear me in the Cinderella. Captain, simply brilliant. Who did you 
voice mid time has come. Marvelous to land. I, I know. I know. Look up! Look up! How do you not? Know? Oh, yeah. Dickie! The deck is me. Oh, the deck! Oh! Don't leave me, Captain! Don't leave me!
fugitive story of Cinderella. Captain. We set it up for you. Let her go! Come on to our orders, Captain. Bring 
Reservoir. Yes, I suppose you must go home now. You're not leaving us. Will you do? I'm afraid I must. Please don't go. Dear ones, if you all come with me, I feel almost sure my mother and father would adopt you. Peter, can we go? All right. Yay! Now, put away your beds quickly. Peter, I'm going to give you your medicine before I journey, just like my mother used to do. Get your things, Peter. I'm not going with you, Bindi. Yes, Peter. No. But why not? I don't want to grow up and learn about sewing things. I just want always to be a little boy and to have fun. No one's going to catch me and make me a man. We're all ready to go now. Peter isn't coming with us. Peter's not coming? Then Peter, we won't leave you. Now then, no fuss, no blubbering, just say goodbye. Do you believe? Oh. 
Nisus, nothing stands alive. Now is the old when the children in the holes are in bed. Their lips bright brown with their good night chocolates. Their tongues drowsily searching for belated crumbs. Hast insecurely on their same cheeks. Compare them with the captive children on the spot. Split me the infinitives, pitches me out of triumph. Ha ha ha! At last, I've reached me peak. I'm the greatest villain of all time.
uses your house as his house out of your loss. I'll wake him up when it's time.